What's up YouTube? It's Nas here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about top three ways that I find winning products. These are the ways that I still use. I got pretty good results with all of them and I think is th these are the best ways you could actually find winning products. If you want to know what those things are, keep watching. Bye. One is this tool that I use which is free it's called bigspy.com so you basically go on bigspy it shows you all the Facebook ads that are running currently so you can basically set your time what date are you looking for you could basically set it up for let's say the ads that are being running for the last uh, week or for the last couple months or basically choose your own dates so you could kind of see what ads are running even currently um, you could see what the, what the ads are, how many comments they're getting, what engagement is looking like. And now I believe they update their tool. Now you could kind of see the engagement and you could kind of track it. So you could save that ad and then see if they're doing well. If they're um, basically still running after a couple of days, you could go back and check the ads. And you could kind of basically find the products over there and spy on other people. And honestly, this is my favorite way of going through them. Even like at night when I'm going to bed, it's kind of like shopping for me. I like to go through ads and look at them because I do my own product research. Um, even though I outsource everything else, I do my Facebook ads and my product research. But this is one of the best way to find winning products. Number two is going on Amazon.com. I know it's super random and super weird and people like what people like, why would someone buy from me if they can buy from Amazon. So I have three rules when it comes to finding a winning product. It has to either be really unique and viral looking, it has to solve a problem, or it has to be really, uh, it, it needs to have a passionate audience. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go on amazon.com and what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on today's deal. Now, for if you're scrolling down right here, you see that there are so many products that might be drop shipping, might not be drop shipping. So what I like to do, I kind of ask myself these questions. I'm like, is this product um, solving a problem? Is this product um, have the potential to go viral? Is this product, does this product have a passionate audience? And if I answer yes to two of these questions, I usually save that product. Even if I can't find the exact product on AliExpress, I go and find a very similar product that I found on, on today's deal. And one thing with Amazon is that with today's deal, they show you the trendy products. And what we want to usually sell when it comes to drop shipping is mostly trendy products. Um, that's why they die out kind of fast after a couple weeks, a couple months, they don't last forever. Uh, and that's what we want to catch them before they get very viral. Uh, I don't recommend you going and testing other people's winning product because at that point they already spend a lot of money on their ads and uh, usually Facebook uh, prioritize them compared to you if you're just getting started with testing that product. Number three is going on wish.com. And as you guys know, wish.com, they do drop shipping, or I think they do drop shipping, but they have all the products that you could find on AliExpress. And again, I have the same questions. I go through all the products. I scroll down, go on page one. I ask myself the question, is this product solving a problem? Does this product have a passionate audience? And does this product have viral potential? And again, if I answer yes to two of these questions, I go ahead and test that. These three ways are basically the ways that I've been using for the last couple months. And uh, honestly, I would say Amazon is a little bit more advanced since you can't find the exact product usually on AliExpress. And uh, I would say go with that one after you already had one or two winning products and you know what a winning product look like. Uh, the thing is, in the beginning, I understand that, some, that you don't know what a winning product is till you find one. Once you find one, it gets so much easier. You basically become an intermediate. I call it intermediate from level one to level two. You graduated. And now you kind of can guess and assume what could have the potential of becoming viral. And uh, I feel like at that point, you also kind of detach yourself from a product too. I feel like in the beginning, people get very attached to a product and they think that they could make that product work. But as I always say, move on after spending, let's say 40, 50, $60 on one product, don't spend more, just move on to the next product, make a new creative, make a new video, ad, video ads, and try with different things, you know? 
And uh, yeah, these are the ways that I actually use to find my winning products. All right, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Make sure that you check out my one hour free training down below, it's limited time, only free for you guys on YouTube. Go ahead and check it out and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.